first of all, can you confirm this is the case? I cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it is not uh, something that I can can share. Um, what I will say is that, um, yes, if if you add up, you know, your business reports and your search term reports from Amazon advertising, and this does not equal what you see in search query performance, right? So I will confirm that and um, kind of give my anecdote of, you know, how I use search query performance, which is really like back to what I was saying before, understanding my share of a yeah. search term. And for a share, it's really about the percentage and understanding a change over time, you know, of that percentage. Um, so I think, uh, you know, your your um, observations, you know, are are you know spot on. You know that it's um, not able to sort of reverse engineer to map against your brand um, reports that you're getting from business reports and from ads together. Um, however, it is complete of organic and paid, like you were saying. Um, yeah. So it gives you the most holistic picture. And if you think about your your alternate options before this tool launched, is really third-party scrapers, right? Um, sort of giving us the best guess of, hey, here's 60, 70% of what I believe to be true over this time period. Um, so this is, you know, both important at a brand level, but then certainly at an ASIN level is where this gets really, you know, other centered of Amazon to provide that information because it means that you could be as small as just starting from today and still understand, you know, how much room do you have to grow, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, another thing that, that I really like about this this report is, uh, and and ultimately that is the key to scale. It's your your brand impression share because mm -hmm. you i mean if there is a one percent increase on that that's huge already yeah. and if you're getting good click through that's gonna go up what well, when i say good click through with purchases that's gonna go up anyway and that is really something that's worth staying really close to and those a dozen keywords that 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 make or break you and if you track how your share of the impressions are progressing uh, or declining that gives you visibility into what your potential is so uh, that's a that's a big deal what yeah and it, and it really helps it really helps validate for a lot of the brands that we work with they're off amazon marketing and activations that they're doing right you really want to look at how do i measure the impact on amazon and you know, a big part of that is what you just said. It was really looking at the brand impressions, the yeah. share of impressions, right? Because if if I'm running a large, you know, Google or or Facebook, you know, some some meta um, advertising, I want to understand how is that changing my share of impressions, not just how is that improving my sales, right? Yeah. And saying, oh, I think I I got a sales lift from running this off Amazon activation, and so. Um, I think, yeah, really, it's almost like taking a bite instead of trying to eat the whole hamburger at once is kind of set your targets on search terms instead of just looking at your overall market share. You know, your market share of a, of a subcategory is is a big task, right? You, you got to take it in bites and, and look at multiple different strategies that are going to help you improve your market share. Um, with With search terms, oftentimes... Advertising is a big thing, right? If you've already checked all of the boxes with your content and you've incorporated this search term into organic listing, it's really about your advertising strategy, right? And how can you incorporate this? Um, you know, we will look at, you know, your ad investments on an ASIN and on a search term level and try to identify where are their opportunities or gaps, right? Where, you know, hey, Amazon is providing this data to show you that you have a pretty healthy, you know, purchase share and mm -hmm. click share 
And there's a sizable pie here. So the the search volume is is you know something that you should go after. Um, so this this kind of tees it up for you and and frames you know to you that hey you're you should be investing more than a dollar that I see that you're investing on that search term over the last thirty days, right? And yeah. that's what um, you know one of our dashboards or reports gives you some of those gaps and search query performance. It's called the search query performance you know tool in our dashboards because um, it's running on the SQP tool to to help you understand where you're under investing or maybe not investing at all on a really important um, search term. One thing I wish is that the data, search query performance data uh, was available through the API. It's not. It right? is not, no, no. So um, at iDrive, you know, we do have a dashboard. We have two dashboards actually that allow for you to really look back at the trends, you know, so you no longer have to pull one quarter or one week at a time, you could look back at an entire, you know, year's worth of data. Um, you can also really, you know, go go deep by not only looking at a brand, but looking at your ASIN level. And so, um, you know, it, it is one of the reasons why there's, um, it's complex to use is because it's not available in an API, which means a lot of brands, partners, you know, aren't utilizing this data. Yeah. Um, which is a real mess. Yeah.